All right, guys, welcome back. Yeah, it's been a few months. Uh, I just had to get some stuff with the Mustang all finished up and cleaned. Uh, I got the shifter linkage and the shifter uh, installed. Uh, thank you to Al Varner Jr. And um, we're going to actually go do some racing. To oh yeah. Uh, probably gonna just be doing some um, regular TNT, nothing too extreme. They are having some classes today for no prep racing. Small tire, hard tire, and I, I do believe big tire. The uh, Mustang is not fast enough to fit into small tire. It's barely barely uh, fast enough to fit into a street class. Yet it's got, you know, full everything. Power steering, AC, heat, you name it, it's got it. It's got a lot more stuff than the Camaro does. But it's not fast enough. Um, anyways, yeah, so we're going to be heading there today and, uh, looking forward to it. It's been, a, it's been, um, it's been a minute since we've been out there to actually race. So I'm looking forward to it. So with the family, but all right, guys, well, I'm going to get finished everything here, uh, get everything all loaded up and whatnot and, um, head off to the track. So stay tuned. I got the, uh, all the GoPros and the 360 come with me. So, all right. started.
fucking, she lost. Oh, I know she did. <laughs> she lost I, so okay. hard that, it clo that I closed the ticket booth. Hey, Dad. Are you serious? There's no tickets. Hey, uh, so I have to keep my dragging. Can I tell you Fuck. something? Some yeah, people were betting. said he was ticket booth, and that's why he was so fast. Yeah. Uh, some people were actually betting on like, uh, you to win, because they said, I've been on this road, Mustang is going to win. I heard that. I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I got you a good puddle, though. Yeah. I'm going to camp up here, going. What's going on everybody? Just got done finishing unloading the Mustang. Life's helped me out here. <laughs> uh, little little race recap here. Mustang did good. Actually, pr pretty damn good actually. Yeah. Um, the the ticket booth um, where you get all your ET slips at, they were closed down last night. I didn't know that. Or else I would have essentially turn a turn the draggy on. There was um, no real communication on the on the ticket booth. I, it is what it is. So uh, next time I gotta make sure I turn bring the I had the draggy with me, just never turned it on because didn't know. And uh, but other than that, you know the car did great. Really, really surprised all of us oh, yeah. on essentially mm -hmm. how just how quick the car actually was. With the converter working good, transmission was phenomenal. Uh, I have really no complaints other than, you know, just kind of waiting a lot. <laughs> kind of like a hurry up and wait in drag racing. Um, yeah, I was only able to get one one pass in. The, um, not really complaining, just more or less kind of stating the obvious. There was no real communication at all, at all when it came to really announcing anything. So it's kind of just kind of standing around waiting for to hear different things. So we actually had to go up and talk to one of the um, track officials, and he told us when you know when our time was to go up, and um, just 
kind of like the lack of, lack of communication. There really wasn't much there. There was some, but not what it needed. Not what it used to be. So you know, I'll go back. I mean, it's pretty much our local track, but you can tip, you could definitely tell that you know there's some fine tuning stuff that needs to be put in, needs to be addressed. But or not, you know, everything went, went fine. Everything went smooth. No issues. No. Um, had a great time. Really good time. Nice sticky. Yeah. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, first time on radials, on a no prep. Yep. Car did fine. I noticed no, no difference between the slicks and the radials. Minus um, with the slicks, your your hands are a little more full. You're trying to keep the car straight, whereas the radials pretty much kind of keep you planted, which is kind of nice. I'm not really fighting it. So my job was kind of easy. One thing I had to do was let go of the trans brake and shift. <laughs> um, trying to make sure I got everything covered. All right, well that's pretty much it. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, we're gonna get out of here. <laughs> Bye guys. Hey, thanks for watching everybody. I appreciate it very much. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And share if you could please. Thank you.